I'm just going to show you the quickest method I've found for cleaning the sensor on the Canon 5D or any mirrorless or DSLR. Um, there's a lot of different ways of doing it. I've, I've used a lot of different ways, but this is where I've come to the fastest way to check and clean the sensor. So the first thing that I would advise that you buy, I've got a visible dust loop, which has got LEDs in it. So it's got a switch on it and you can hold it and you can clean the way well, you can look at the sensor first so we're first going to check the sensor and that's the most important bit really so I might put some other links to companies like Movo and you know they're a bit cheaper I haven't used any of them but I can show you that I've used the visible dust one for years this has been dro dropped a few times um, but this comes to weddings with me and has been great to be honest very lightweight and just goes straight in the bag so the first thing you want to do is you want to go into your menu and you just want to switch the thing on. Always a good start. School by error there. Here we go. So if you scroll down on the 5D Mark 1 or if you look into any of the menus, somewhere you're going to see an ability to flip the mirror up, which is what we want to do with the DSLR. We'll come down a bit further. Sensor clean. There we go. As you click it and click OK, and you'll need a full battery by the way, that's the most important bit. That has now flipped the mirror up inside. And when you're starting to learn to do this, I would put it on a decent tripod. I don't when I'm out and about obviously, but I think this is the first time I've ever done this on a tripod. So here we go. So we'll line the sensor up. Now when I take the lens off, which is the last thing I do, Let's just put that over there. You'll see the sensor exposed now. And you don't want to expose the sensor if you can help it. And believe me, this is probably the longest my sensor has been exposed like this for ever. <laughs> so the key is to not get it dirty, not to get dust on it, is not to expose it. So the sensor loop, you literally put that on turn your little lights on with your switch and then slowly just look around the sensor people are doing this too quick I think but this is just look around the sensor and the light will catch the little pieces of dust once I found a piece of dust and I've spotted one I bring it away and the only thing I use is what's recommended by Canon and a lot of the companies is a blower. This is one of the Giotto's, but there's lots of different makes. This has been really, really good. And this is not what you do. You see, that is, I've never done that. And you'll see them do that in camera shops. They're not being nasty to camera shops, but they just will to get sense dust. Well, this sort of dust only needs tiny, tiny, tiny amount. So I actually get this extremely close to wherever the piece of dust is, use in the loop, and just give it one single tiny puff of air. Now I've actually usually got the body of the camera flipped upside down, and I'm doing it from below. And gravity, just the tiny, tiny, tiny amount, just tiny, will remove any small particles of dust. And I know you've all had welded on dust, and I'm going to flip this down now because that's how paranoid I am about my sensor. So let's just get that flipped down. Just have a little chat about what we've just done and why I do what I do. Bring it back again. The key, honestly, above all else, is don't expose that sensor unless you have to. The mirror flips down, the shutter's in front of it. The idea is to protect it. But anyway, going back to this, this is a brilliant tool for all the loose particles. Now, if you leave the, sense, the dust on the sensor, then it can weld. So it could be particles of clothing or tiny weeny bits of plastic, really small. And the sensors get hot and it actually welds to the sensor. When I say sensor, I actually mean the, the protective plastic in front of the sensor. Um, but some cameras actually haven't got that. So just bear in mind that the only thing I'm telling you to do is a soft puff of air. 
I don't do anything else to the sensors. I, the, there is one other thing I'm going to link to in, in the description. I'll link to all all of the all the things I use, um, but I'll, I'll put the links at the top so you can go and have a look on Amazon. But there's another method. Um, obviously, we all know about swipes. So they wet a swipe, um, a fob, a fob, a fob, a swab. <laughs> God, getting worse. So and they go straight across the sensor. Well. I take that loop and look at all the second-hand 5Ds when I want to buy them because people ask me to source them um, and I do source nice 5Ds. I, I reject most of them, to be honest with you. When I go in with my, my loop I've just showed you, what I find is fine scratches all the time. So fine scratches are found with this loop straight across the plastic. No one ever sees them because, again, they've probably taken them straight into a camera shop they swab them very quickly. Yes, the dust's gone, but unfortunately you've just damaged the sensor or you've damaged the plastic coating before the sensor. So I personally don't touch them. Now, I know that people aren't going to believe this. That's quite a good look. I quite like this little loop. Um, but my 5Ds have never had wet cleaning, ever. 300 odd weddings, all the use they've ever had, and I've never wet cleaned a single sensor in my life. Um, and I've never sent them away either, which is unbelievable. I think it is unbelievable. But the bottom line is, I keep the dust off. So if you imagine week in, week out, I'm doing this process um, with the loop. Um, we do that all day now, look. So we use the loop and get the dust off then it's not welding onto the sensor, keeping it clean. So it does make sense really, the more use you get from the camera and you're doing it week in, week out, obviously I've kept them nice and clean. I think I've got one particle on one of the bodies that welded on. And the way that I got that off, I'll link to this company. I can't remember their name now, it's not Visible Dust. But look in the descriptions, I'll definitely put a big star next to it. Um, and it's almost like a sticky pad, sounds horrendous. But I just picked it off with this sticky pad that's on the on their system. It's a proper system, and you'll find if you look at a lot of the factory tours that bloggers do of um, vloggers and bloggers um, <laughs> of all the different factories they go to. I don't know Fuji, Canon, whatever. Then they're using this particular thing. So I will link to that. But as for wet cleaning a sensor um, with a swab, never done it. I don't advise it. And if you are going to do have that done, send them away. Send it away to people that are doing it day in, day out. Now, the, the early 5D Mark 1s, you couldn't use a certain liquid. I know this for a fact because I looked into this on the early sensors. But on the later sensors, they did actually change them. Um, the covering, sorry, the, the plastic coating. Um, Comment below, I can't remember the name of it now. <laughs> um, but you could use it. So you couldn't use one chemical and you couldn't use another. You don't know, you know, you don't know what you're putting on these sensors. Send it away to the professionals um, and, and let them do it. So that's my advice. Just use air as Canon advised and everybody else. If you can't get it off with air, then as I say, I'll link to this company um, where you can you can you can order their these pads from Amazon and you can just pick these spots off right specks of dust rather than just swiping your sensor and scratching it and I can guarantee you I've had at least five 5D Mark 1s where when they arrive I check the sensors instantly with this loop and it's one of the best investments I've ever made by the way this loop um, from point of view of getting camera equipment and sending it back because I don't want scratches all over it um, yeah, really good. Now, there is another method, and we're at 10 minutes now. I'll give you three more minutes because uh, I don't want these videos to be too long. What you can do, and you'll see this quite often, is people then check the sensor by stopping the lens down and then photographing a white sheet of paper and making the white sheet of paper go a dark grey. I went into that and... To be honest with you, it's very long-winded. That might be my final check if I was at home before I went to a wedding. Um, but I can guarantee you the quickest way is to buy a sensor loop, 
with the lights in, it's gonna have the LED lights in. Take your time, just get it up to your face, tilt it back, get comfortable, look around every corner of the sensor, and then shut the mirror down as soon as you can. And then just think to yourself, where was that piece of dust? Then get a blower, go very steadily, and just push some air onto it and it should move. And do it quite often, so you wanna be checking them quite often so that these particles do not weld onto your sensor and that's when you've got a problem. So I hope that helps um, and that's the method I use. See you again soon.